I remember when we first met, you came out to a party and celebrated Pride with us for the very first time. And after we got in, you stopped at nothing to show off all of your dance moves. I remember at some point later in the night, we started dancing together, and it felt like one of those scenes in the movies where the spotlight focused on the dancing couple. It was at that time that you leaned in for a kiss, and I leaned back, dodged, and danced away, and in my head I said, nope. Not today. <laughs> but look at us now, standing before each other, about to make one of the biggest milestones of our lives together. When someone says they fall in love with somebody over and over, I've always thought that was crap because how is someone supposed to fall in love with someone that they already fell in love with? But then you happen. You made falling in love with you every day, again and again, make sense and very easy. Before I met you, I have this fear of getting old. And now, I, I can't wait to live this life for at least 200 more years or even become a vampire. Our own cheesy Bella and Edward story, but you know, gay version. You are my fire, my water, my earth, my air, and my last and only avatar, the last airbender. No, I will not be a Jon Snow to your Khaleesi, and we'll just be a Khaleesi together. You are my prince charming to every fairy tale story there is. Lastly, I choose you, and will always choose you. Now, can I ask you something crazy? I love crazy. Will you marry me? Can I say something crazier? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Every day, you show me who Prince Renz is. You are patient when I can't seem to focus or get distracted or constantly forget everything that I was supposed to do, like putting the dirty utensils in the wrong spot in the sink. But what I love about you the most is your ability to be free and open-minded, like Aang, the last airbender, and the Avatar. Someone who is both playful and serious. Someone who is full of wisdom and constantly gives out life lessons to anyone who will listen and someone who will always have your back. With many hours put in planning, a year and a half of COVID restrictions, this day has finally come. For those who don't know, Clarence is my only one. She's the only one I can afford. <laughs> uh, I can still remember the very first movie we watched together. Um, we watched the premiere of Beauty and the Beast. Even at a very young age, I have seen how you truly enjoy anything fairy tale. 
this wedding celebration is not only a testament to that, but also to the fact that you strongly believe that if you dream it, anything is possible. This is really a celebration of the work that you have both put in to yourselves and then also each other that you have both said yes to the late night Pokemon battles, the nerding out, the movies, everything in between. But that's the most beautiful thing, someone that you can unconditionally come home to um, regardless of circumstance, regardless of what went on five seconds, five minutes, ten days, years ago. Um, someone that you can constantly come home to. Um, and I hope you guys always remember that because that's what you guys both said yes to.